Mikasa is a disappointment in every sense of the word. And while Attack on Titan is a series that has quite a few frustrating characters, Mikasa still easily takes the number one spot for me. My problem with Mikasa is that she doesn't grow up or evolve past what were originally shown. Her fundamental flaw is the fact that Isayama refuses to let her move on from Eren, ever. She never grows past her obsession. And what makes that so frustrating is that Isayama gives her the perfect situation to do exactly that. After Eren's death in the Trost arc, Mikasa stops fixating solely on him. She's emotional about the fact that he just died, and quickly sees the situation for what it is. Eren, the emotional leader of their unit is gone, and now she's directionless. And she eventually ends up inadvertently leading a suicidal charge against the Titans. Things go horribly wrong, of course, and she nearly gets herself eaten in the process, highlighting that being skilled in combat doesn't equate to any skill as a leader or making the right calls. This could have been a moment to establish Mikasa's art. She had room to grow as both a person and a leader. By building on her character after the Trost arc, Isayama could have easily addressed her aloofness and how she needs to overcome her attachment to Eren if she wants to inspire others when Eren's not there, doing for other people what Eren did for her. Unfortunately, this never happens. Mikasa is ridiculously Eren-centric and remains so, with her character ending in the same place that it started in. And where did she start? She spent pretty much most of the early episodes just being around Eren, basically acting like a personal bodyguard whenever he got hurt or in trouble. Now if Mikasa were a better character, maybe she'd realize that she would need other interests and things to care about besides Eren, but this never happens. Even in the series finale, her biggest scene is about her love for Eren. The same Eren who was willing to lie to her just so he could insult her. The same Eren who straight up beat the shit out of her childhood friend in front of her. She never really changes, unlike say Armin, whose view of Eren shifts throughout the story. And even after Eren dies, she still doesn't really move on. Sure, she married John, but she regularly drops flowers by Eren's grave. And when she dies, she literally gets buried next to him. We never get to see her life afterwards, and even after she's dead, we don't learn anything more because the focus is still on her relationship with Eren. Does she become some sort of law enforcement officer to prevent the things that happened during her childhood from happening to others? Does she help train Paradise's new military? Does she open up her own store somewhere? We don't know, but we do know that she never really moves past her unhealthy obsession with the man who gaslit her, assaulted her friend, and performed mass genocide. And this isn't some showcase of Mikasa's flaws to highlight some sort of theme. In the story, it's treated like a happy send-off for her character. She has no character arc. She doesn't really change for the better. Her obsession isn't portrayed as a negative, and even as a flat character, she's wholly underwhelming. And worst of all, she's boring. She barely has any agency, no interesting or engaging character traits, her fights lack tension, and she doesn't really make any interesting choices either. But her core problem is that she's a satellite character that was initially presented as a main character. And honestly, the story is worse for it. But that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and please stay tuned for more.